Greetings once again, GB Land Online Tecmo Super Bowl of fans. This is Trojan 1979 bringing to you bracket play here between Randy Wiggs and QB Lions. And today, in the co pilot position, Tom Stanky, the retro sports gamer. You may have seen his videos with Mort on YouTube. How are you doing today, Tom? I'm doing great. I'm just excited to announce and get some Tecmo action in today. And it looks like we're going to have a pretty good matchup between Randy Wags and QB Lions. All right. And uh, so for those of you that don't know, Tom has a great lineup breakdown of every single team in Tecmo Super Bowl out there on YouTube. Many games uh, are played after the teams are broken down in detail. Whether you're a veteran or a new player, it is a tremendous resource, as well as having other great retro sports content on his channel but if you're a Tecmo Super Bowl fan uh, his is definitely a must subscribe you definitely want to check out his videos uh, for those of you who know Mort, Mort makes an appearance uh, on several of those videos as well and they have some pretty entertaining games and back and forth commentary breaking down common matchups with those teams so we're going to get right into it here uh, did you give us your Twitter handle I can't remember if I uh, asked you that if not let's give that to the people watching Oh yeah, my Twitter handle is at Retro Sports Gamer. Drop the A in Gamer, and there you go. That's my Twitter handle. Awesome. We'll make sure to give you a uh, link there to his YouTube channel and Twitter handle in the description, as well as the bracket for challenge for this tournament. It is a double elimination tournament. Um, in this, uh, you will always have the higher seed hosting. Uh, that is the advantage of. Uh, what happened in group play. So Randy Weggs had the higher seed over QB Lions here. So he picked this matchup, and QB Lions took the Jets, and we are starting this one. Yeah, this is a unique matchup, Cardinals versus Jets. Don't see it too often, but it's, uh, you know, it's a lower mid-tier matchup, and, uh, you know, it's hard to say which team really has the advantage. Most people would say the Cardinals, but the Jets got some players too. It looks like Pat Lee is going to be kicking off here. QB Lions deferring Vysik Ahama with his 44 running speed is going to be returning this one. Uh, is he your preferred returner when you play as the Cardinals? Yeah, I, I, you know, they really don't have an elite returner, so pretty much whoever you put back there is going to do the job. But, yeah, I, I just leave him in. So it looks like we have a Tom Tupa sighting here instead of uh, Rosenbach. Um, Randy Wiggs going right up to the top and uh, coming underneath to Randy Prohl. First down on pass. Uh, was that pass three, pass four? And I, I didn't catch the formation there on that play. Yeah, and that's Ricky Prohl, and he has high reception ratings, and he took that one. He's a good possession receiver right in the middle of the field. And just the run up the middle there for Johnny Johnson. Second down to three coming here. McMillan on defense uh, trying to hopefully slow down that passing attack comes back Tupa gets it done on the ground underneath we're going to see a lot of field stretching here and I hope we're going to see a Johnny Johnson signing pretty soon yeah what do you think the reasoning is behind putting uh, Tom Tupa instead of Rosenbach don't see that too often. Um, I know that there's pass speed and control difference, and it may have something to do with JJ timings. Uh, I think they have identical uh, uh, maximum speed. I, I could be wrong there. Johnny Johnson with a nice run to the bottom down here. Uh, McMillan in chase and wisely gets out of bounds. Nice run there by Randy Wiggs. Yeah, definitely. He's taking advantage of that uh, running game right now, getting that run three in. And when you don't pick that play, it could be deadly. And uh, passes underneath on pass four to Johnny Johnson, incomplete, just, uh, you know, inches away from him. Uh, might be a little better to try to keep that on the ground uh, a little bit longer before uh, letting that ball go. And now we have uh, minimal gain here on second down, third and seven coming up. Critical down here for Randy Wiggs. We want to keep the momentum going here. Dennis Bird in defense looks like he's in coverage now. Throwing across field to Johnny Johnson. Nice Nice throw. We saw that Aaron throw before this time. No problem getting that across field to Johnson. First and goal from the seven. Pro set formation. McMillan on defense. And again, trying to stretch the field with that play. Throws it. Let's see if this, if he gets it there. Dangerous across the line of scrimmage with the, with the Tom Tupa. The quarterback's in this category, uh, this tier of the game. If they throw an errant throw, it could be picked off. 
tough to rely on that throw, and now we have a dive play uh, to Johnny Johnson. Run to not much going here. Four yards Critical away from third down. Back to the dive play. Johnson bounces it outside into the end zone. 39. Johnny Johnson in the end zone for a touchdown. And those plays up the middle sometimes are tough. He baited McMillan in the middle. He locked horns with someone uh, blocking him, and he just wasn't able to get bounce out of that. And the result is a touchdown. And a lot of folks don't know you have Lewis Sharp up top there who uh, was featured on Good Players, Bad Team with the Keith is Good article on techable.org. Uh, so definitely going to hold his block uh, all day long at the top of the screen. And Baxter on the return. And let's look at the playbook here. We have a mix of pro set. Uh, kind of a strange uh, choice at pass four there. I don't see that often. Uh, that, that's actually in the default San Francisco playbook. And O'Brien scrambles to the right side for a nice little game. Lonnie Young and uh, McDonald are really the strength of the defense here. And it's real interesting. Um, uh, wasn't really able to do much there with uh, with Young there to stop that. And, and we see here that uh, he's sticking with Young dive play here to Blair Thomas. Does a nice job this time. Uh, fills in. And it, it did it look like did that lead blocker got instantly pancaked. Yeah, well, what I was going to say is Lonnie Young might be the best defender against the run just because his run speed's at that 69. That obviously isn't something that they were trying to program, but he does have that advantage, so he, at the snap of the ball, he's super quick. And the other part of that, too, is I don't remember what his hitting power has been, but if he's got a wide receiver at the uh, lead blocker position, that could potentially be a, a 50 hitting power disparity, which would lead to an instant popcorn or pancake. That's and right. We have got fourth down and 12 here. Punt probably incoming. If um, I, I I would really advise against this if I can go back in time and tell him. And looks like uh, like the punt is what's happening here. Yeah, fourth and 12. I, I you know I probably would have punted in that situation to be honest. Um, you know we we have to see what what he can do on offense with the Cardinals. Randy Wags had a nice slow methodical drive up the field. So let's see if he could do it again. I'd like to go in, into the change screen and see what he's working with there. Looks like we have a cold run three now. That was dangerous. Almost a safety right there. you got to be careful calling run on your own end. You need that breathing room. You've got uh, second and 15 from the one-yard line here. McMillan has a lot of field to cover here. Tupa Ooh, getting away just in time. Got in the way. Throws it out of bounds uh, outside the pocket if it if it was uh, intentional grounding. That's not a part of Tecmo Super Bowl, folks. We have single back formation, third and 15, McMillan. Uh, it looks like we have a pass four here. Gets it Ooh, underneath, nice, gets nice, some nice, breathing nice. room. Fumbled and recovered by the Jets. James Hasty. Looked like he was bouncing out of bounds there, but uh, not as far as Tecmo is concerned. Right back in the hands of the Jets. And now KB Lions knocking on the door. See, that's why you punt the ball there. If you're confident in your defense, anything can happen, and he's rewarded. It, and uh, potential missed opportunity there. It looked like the wide receiver two had the defender uh, beat there with that pass three. That burn route was probably there at the back of the end zone, and uh, Lex to hang on to the ball third and six here after a pedestrian gain on second down. Blair Thomas now. It looks and, like Go ahead. I was going to say their taps are about the same right now, it looks like. Yeah, just a couple yard gain there. It'll be interesting to see what he does on this play. It's going to be fourth down here. Is he going to take the points or is he going to go for it? Not having a rushing stud uh, against Lonnie Young, not having an established taps advantage puts you in a tough spot here. Um, you almost have to pass and try to get those isolation routes. Uh, might have gotten a touchdown if you let that go immediately. And it looks like he's open, but does get covered at the last moment there. Going up to wide receiver one, it's probably Toon, and turns it over on down. So we're back right where we were just a moment ago. Pretty uh, much, yeah. Looks so like that was that was a gamble there, and it did not pay off, but big sack from Kyle Clifton. Drone defender right there helping out so maybe we'll see the similar result 
And we're here now at the run three here. Johnny Johnson uh, bottled up four-yard gain on second down. Uh, four yards against run three is always a successful outcome if you're the defense. It looks like we're almost, oh, and it's a blitz, and looks like he's going to have to punt it away here, fourth down and 13. So basically what you're going to want to do here, QB Lions is going to want to get out of bounds and try to throw a Hail Mary down the field before the end of the half, and he has plenty of time to do so, I believe. And what That's Randy Wiggs was trying off. to do there was get a fast receiver down the field with pass one, and there's two streaking receivers and opposite ends opposite ends of the field and he called run or I'm sorry pass one and that's what resulted in that. So time to enjoy halftime. Uh game is close so far. Uh Randy Wiggs being a little more effective offensively, QB Lions having that deep possession and unable to come away with any points there. Uh is gonna have to find a way to get something going here. I think we need to find out who has the tap advantage here is find out if he can really run the ball uh, against Lonnie Young because if he can't he's gonna have to go into that pass playbook. Yeah, it's tough with those two safeties there and only a 44 speed, max speed running back for the Jets. It's going to be tough to get the run game going against the Cardinals. And, uh, you know, that that's what the game may rely upon. But he does have that advantage of Ken O'Brien and his passing speed. So I'd like to see him take advantage of that. So one thing I am, no I am noticing here is that we do have the two running backs in, and I, I can't remember exactly what their uh, hitting power is offhand. It went through the cycle too fast, but... Uh, I don't think they're particularly high on the Jets. And we have a J.J. to tune. And, uh, That's what I was looking for. Let's get that, this passing game going. Absolutely. I would have liked to see him keep a more straight trajectory towards the end zone. He kept zigzagging, slowing his receiver down there, um, taking potential points off the board. Uh, instead, now we're looking at second and five from... or right, second down and uh, five from the 12-yard line in the third quarter here. O'Brien keeping it on the ground. Nice wow, move nice there. Scramble. First in goal from the one. Can he get the game tied here? It's looking good right now for QB Lions, and he runs in easily there. No defender in sight. Touchdown, Johnny Hector. Harvey was the chosen defender. They ran right at him. He got double teamed and knocked backwards. So, 7-7 seven, seven game here. And, by the way, you're doing a great job. It's fun having you on here, Tom. Oh, yeah. Thanks a lot, Troy. This is this is cool. I like uh, doing this sort of thing. And, you know, when it comes to Tecmo Super Bowl, I'm always down for whatever. Well, I'll tell you what. You're such a good color commentator. You're able to transition right into the play-by-play -play role. And uh, back and forth, it's been kind of – this is the, the, definitely the most unique uh, interaction I've had thus far with these uh, uh, featuring the different uh, – Tecmo figures here. Looks like we have a, a Wolfley sighting in good condition. Um, first half, a lot of success with Johnny Johnson. We'll see if uh, if uh, QB Lions continues to take away pass one. He does. And so pass one and run three are uh, been kind of the pick your poison approach here. Back on the one yard line uh, and this time running up top. Um, and we have a grapple and Johnny Johnson is breaking away so Randy Wiggs uh, appearing wow. to have the, the slight tap advantage here. Just slightly by one. One tap. And, and that's all it takes. Oh, and there so he the goes. 36 yard line. Wow. So you want to change your perspective on the field position. That's one way to do it. Big gain by Johnson. He goes right back to it. Subscribes to the theory. You can't uh, stop me. Here. But another fumble. And you know what? It I think the free safety position is the best place to be at to stop the run because the, the runs up top aren't as strong. So he was able to break up the run right there, and it results in another fumble for the Cardinals and Randy Weggs. And uh, if you're Randy Weggs, you can't get frustrated here. The Tecmo Gods have struck twice. You have to be resilient and understand that with the exception of uh, really a big bomb, there really hasn't much that you've given up in this game. So you got to keep your head up, play defense, and try to get back into this one. And let's, let's see if he goes back to the passing game. That's where he's been successful so far. But he scrambles, gets out of bounds. Good play right there. The QB Lions just needs to build on some positive momentum. No, he needs to know that he can move this ball in chunks. 
risky throw there. The secondary is very good for the Cardinals. We do know that Ken O'Brien is, is okay at the quarterback position with his pass control stats, but he's, he's definitely no Joe Montana. Uh, you gotta be careful with your covered options. And, definitely uh, no Joe Montana. Oh, and a dive. A great job baiting him up there and then just can't complete the connection to L2. Yeah, Ken O'Brien's hit or miss. You know, some, some days he's on, he does look like he's closer to Dan Marino, and other days he looks closer to Jim Harbaugh. And, and a there's big a Jim Harbaugh moment right there for you folks. Uh, Lonnie Young <laughs> with the pick. And there's, there's that dude, Lonnie Young. 69 run speed, 56 interceptions, just getting all over the place on the field, and big pick right there. Randy Wags has got to be feeling good going into this fourth quarter. We got a great ball game, 7-2-7. Cross field to Wolfley here on pass four. I'm sorry, was that pass two? My apologies, pass two on that play. And he looks like he's sticking with McMillan. We haven't seen too much Kyle Clifton or Dennis Bird user controlled. Nice dive but, tackle uh, there. Yep. 7-7, seven, seven, you can't really uh, go wrong with it, and so we'll see if he takes advantage of that. Wide receiver 2 is streaking down the field. He likes to hang on to it. Tom Tupu with the big scramble. Let's see if he checks his conditions and maybe goes to Rosenbach, but it looks like he's sticking with Tupu this whole game. Well, he did go through the conditions and uh, left kind of what he's got in there, and now we've got cross field. Roy Green, now milking clock. Very intelligent <laughs> use there by Randy Wags. Roy Green getting it done, 13-7. Everybody was open there. You know, on that play, you just want to get back and guard the touchdown. He had two streaks that were wide open, so you just kind of got to give up the, the shorter pass on that one. So, um, fortunately for him, there's tons of time left for QB lines and the Jets. So... Let's see if he can march down the field and score a TD. We saw some success there with getting separation with the receivers. Ken O'Brien has kind of a weird combination of control and passing speed. I think he's the only one that has the combination of stats. Um, and if, if you, he did stay on him long enough for me to grab him, but uh, Troy Aikman's similar to Ken O'Brien. Uh, Troy, Troy Aikman's got a fifty. Passing speed, 44 pass control. Ken O'Brien has better pass control. I think he's at a 56. So um, they're very similar, but Ken O'Brien's a little bit better. And we have a run three here. And now that we know that Randy Wiggs has tap advantage, you're probably going to see QB Bryan's avoiding QB Lions avoiding contact, and uh, let's we'll see Ken O'Brien with QB Keeper out past the 30. We're approaching the two-minute mark now. Not too much time to waste here. You're going to start seeing ideally throws up into the end zone. You still got a lot of time to mix it up with the run and pass. So um, you know, not till we get down to about a minute 30, he's going to have to look at his playbook more closely. I think he's trying to go for the potential popcorn, which he just saw there, but could not break away from the drone pack. And gets the first down, but kind of a missed opportunity there, unable to do that damage. And this time, going up to tune, uh, Boyer might have been uh, a, a better option in that situation. Seemed to have a little more separation. Uh, it seems like he's had the field. tight end open on that play quite a bit, and he has elected not to throw it, so he's not feeling too confident in Ken O'Brien's abilities. And we just got an incomplete pass right there. Big third down coming up. We're starting to get to the area of the field when you get past the 50. It's harder and harder to get your receivers in a position. Oh, for JJ's and Eric Hill with the sack, fourth and 21. Uh, this is do or die here. Yeah, it's pretty much a throw up, throw up a JJ right here. Um, he might go for that 20 yard game, but I doubt it. And called play and he just throws one up there and it's incomplete. Rough, rough sequence there for QB Alliance. He was moving the ball, had some successful, successful run threes. And this is a point differential league. So you will see Randy Wiggs. Um, actually, I apologize. This is being bracket play. Point differential no longer matters. Uh, the objective is just to get the clock run out and put a ribbon on this one. 
And he's elected to keep calling a few plays. But if he gets out of bounds, it's not going to hurt him. Ooh, and he risked it. He might have just wanted to punt there and end the game, but it doesn't hurt him. And Randy Wags gets the victory 14-7 to over QB Lions. What a great game that was, Troy. Yeah, I, the, I think the telling stat here, as well as Johnny Johnson did here with uh, 10 rushes for 119, is Ken O'Brien's 9% completion percentage. He had uh, really like that one big play to... Uh, El Toon. Thank you, thank you. The uh, former Wisconsin Badger, actually, Al Toon, uh, you know, getting that big chunk of yards. But just missed opportunity seems to be kind of the theme of this one for QB Lions. Uh, good news for him. He's still in the uh, in the mix here. Uh, he'll be going down to the loser's bracket. Randy Wiggs will advance uh, into round two of this tournament. And we'll make sure, again, to have that bracket in the description for you. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you want to see more of the games of our tournament and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified when we have more uploads from this tournament. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you next time on another edition of GB Land Online Techmo.